guys, how are you doing? So, so many of you guys have gotten puppies, I know, because it's spring. I got you and I can help you. I totally understand how frustrating it can be when those puppies bite. Their teeth are sharp, they do it frequently, and utterly, it can just be annoying. I totally understand. So, I wanted to um, pop on here um, for probably like the next week and a half um, and do some lives, give you some tips to help you with your new puppy. So, when we're dealing with puppy biting, a lot of us just want that behavior to stop. I get it and I can help you with that. But we need to look beyond the behavior. A lot of times we're just like, okay, puppy bit us, so then we do what? We do something as a consequence for that behavior, like we put them in the crate or time out or we bop them on the nose, grab their tongue, um, yell no, say ouch, ignore them, turn their back, turn our backs. Um, all of those things are common things that a lot of people have done. Now, I'm an advocate of positive training, so you will never hear me advocating bopping the nose, grabbing the tongue, or any of those things. I just know that people do them, so um, if you have done them, that's okay. I just would recommend that you stop now um, because you could cause fear or aggression problems with your puppy. Now, you want to think, why do we need to look beyond the behavior, right? Because we just want the, the biting to stop. Well, if, we, if you call somebody and say, look, my kid is yelling at me, can you get them to stop? <laughs> what are people going to say? Like, seriously, they're going to go, well, can you give me the context of what's going on, right? Like, they want to know if someone really is truly wanting to help you, like a psychologist or something, they're gonna look beyond the behavior. They're not just gonna focus on the yelling and say, well, go bop your kid in the nose or um, go put him in a timeout or ignore the yelling and then give him attention when it stops. Um, they're gonna look like underneath that, like why is the child yelling? Like, are they in pain? Um, do they want attention? Um, are they frustrated about, you know, something that happened? such as they are not allowed to go on a play date or they have to do a chore or what is going on underneath that. So that's the first thing that you wanna do when you look at your pup. So, and just so you guys know, I'm talking about puppies here. So I'm looking at like five months and younger. If we're dealing with a puppy or a dog that's older than that, some of these tips may work, but you may, um, we may be looking at something different because usually once they hit six months, um, unless you've adopted a dog and they have, you know, some some past baggage, they're they're not they're no longer wanting to to nip and bite as much. So looking at that reason, right? So teething is one, right? They could be teething. So. Um, yeah, I could get my kid to, to uh, I'm going to be brutal today, guys, because I want you to get this. I can get my kid to stop yelling, possibly by, you know, slapping him across the face. But long term wise, then I'm causing psychological damage. And that'll only work if the kid is willing to um, back off when I do that and not fight back. Right. So same thing in the puppy world. If, if your puppy's doing that and you do an intense consequence, then they could get scared, right? And recluse and stop biting you, but then you've developed a fear problem or they could then aggress back and, and start biting you harder and now you have an aggression problem. Um, so if we're looking at the underlying need on like your teething, well, that means you're in pain. So what about giving your puppy some cold things to chew on? So that could, I would recommend that you use like, you know, toys that you can freeze, um, that you buy in the store or take a Kong. Um, ooh, I have a Kong here for those of you who do not know what a Kong is. Um, this is a larger one, but you can get a smaller one for a puppy and then you just fill it up um, with something and put it in the fridge and freeze it and give it to your pup. You wanna put obviously food in there. Um, treats, whatever you want that's healthy for your pup. Um, so then you also want to think, okay, so that's going to help relieve some of the pain, right? Um, there's other reasons why they're, they could be biting you too. It could be that they're overly tired. Are they getting adequate nap times? Um, a lot of people tell me not, like they don't think about that their puppies actually need a nap. So you want to think of, um, 
late morning or early afternoon, most puppies are needing a nap. And then, oh yes, they're gonna do these emoji things. Yeah, I don't know how to shut that off. So we'll just have that happen. <laughs> hey, but then when I do it, right, it doesn't, it doesn't do it back. So I don't, I don't even know what encourages those to happen. Um, okay, so anyway, I digress. So in the evening too, a lot of times you get the puppy zoomies. That could be that they're staying up too late and they need an earlier bedtime. So putting them down for a nap in their crate or on a bed and giving them something to chew on to help them relax and then take a nap. Those things are now addressing the underlying need of the behavior. Now, of course they can be biting you because they're overly excited. I think a lot of you probably are aware of that puppy gets overly excited or aroused. Um, then at that point, then we want to work on decreasing the arousal level, right? So if we just focus on just the behavior, you bit me, right? Then we're not focusing on decreasing the arousal level. And so you can think of when you're overly excited, your stress is going up. So we want to bring that stress level back down. Um, that can help if you are doing intermixed play with obedience commands, training, um, that can bring the arousal level down. I would, when the dog, when your puppy does bite you and they're overly aroused, I would turn my back and ignore the behavior. But then I also want to think, how can I bring the energy back down, right? So yelling, knock it off, stop biting me. That's going to bring the energy back up. So then I want to make sure that I have a calm energy when I turn my back. And maybe even when I'm playing with them, if I don't want them to keep biting me, I'm gonna have a calmer demeanor. I'm not going to wrestle with them and amp them up more. Um, and I could have a toy in my hand to redirect them to bite the toy um, instead of me. Sometimes puppies will bite also for mental stimulation, so their mind actually wants to work and go to school. Training can help with that. Enrichment toys like Buster Cubes, Kong Wobblers, if you don't know what those are, Google them or message me below. I'm happy to help you with that. Um, those are the, the main things or reasons why those puppies are going to start doing um, that nipping. So that, the way that you wanna do this is, cause your brain probably isn't gonna think about that right away. Post up something on your wall so that you can like look at those different reasons and then ask yourself, I wonder which one it is right now, right? Um, and if it is because they're overly tired, then make sure you get their nap before they get the zoomies. Put them in the bed 15 to 30 minutes earlier before they get to going crazy. Um, and you can actually prevent some of that biting from happening by looking at that underlying need. So point of the story is, yes, we want the biting to lessen, just like, yes, you know, maybe we want our child to yell less or whatever. But you got to look at what's being communicated to you, what's underneath the actual biting. And once you get to that, then you can kind of bring your toolbox out and start bringing out some tools to create um, a different end result and a new possibility. I hope that was helpful for you guys. And I got goodies for you. So those of you who stayed on for the entire live, congratulations, because this coming Saturday, I am doing a free online live puppy zoom call you can come on there with their pups yes i don't know anyone that's doing this um i know a lot of people are doing webinars but you can actually come online you set the camera up i can see your puppy and we're going to be doing some active training with your pups what topics are we going to do i don't know because i'm going to gear um that that free class to what people are struggling with so um we'll figure out what you guys want to cover on there and that's where we'll go That'll give you a taster of what it's like to do a live group puppy court, a class, um, because I'm also doing a six week course um, starting on April 13th from 1130 to 1230. And that is a live puppy online Zoom group course. I will post a link below so you can see all the goodies that we're going to cover in that. You get your camera out. We're going to actively train your pup in the comfort of your home. Yes, you don't even have to leave. You get to train your pup where your puppy is less distracted. Group classes when you go in person are very distracting. Now you get to have a lower level of distractions, get your puppy to respond, um, and really create a lot more ease with getting, with house training, jumping, chewing, 
uh, loose leash walking, come, sit down, stay, all of those basics we're gonna go over. It's just $100. For that entire six weeks when i do it again i'm probably not going to offer it that cheap so take advantage of it now um and it'll be 25 dollars per class so you could choose you can either pay for the full six weeks or you can pay 25 per class your choice um and that is per pup um so if you have two puppies then you know the cost will go to um you know each of those each of those puppies that so you are interested then message yes below um and we will give you details about that free zoom call this coming saturday and i'm also going to post in the comments below um about the upcoming group zoom puppy class that i'm going to be doing i hope you guys have an amazing day and um also if you have questions yeah message me questions comments i want to hear from you give me all of it dude like tell me what you think of this tell me if it's helping you not post pictures or videos of your pup if you want i want to hear from you let's interact and make this be a conversation have a great day bye